dodge you at end. You consider your destiny before you choose your pastor. You consider your destiny before you choose the teachings to hear. You consider your destiny before you respond to that text message that is seeking for your attention. Seeking for relationship with you. That person that I want to relate to with you, please consider your destiny first before you respond. That person that I want to take you for lunch. Hungry women always respond to stupid men that want to take them to, for lunch. Can't you cook at home? What will you eat when you get to that lunch? It will not be more than if it's Kenya, chapati and other chapters. Or a cup of coffee. Can we have a coffee? Now, you go to have a coffee that will end you in a coffin. You have a coffee that will end your destiny in a coffin. And because you refuse to go out, they don't think that you are a cake. You are not civilized. Look at what the world do. They want to seduce you to your destruction. They will say you are not civilized. That's what they will say. Do you know that some wicked people call the Bible ancient books? They say it's an ancient book. So how can I be reading that those ancient dirty stories? Not knowing that this is their pathway for rescue. It's called the pride of life. Before you go out for coffee, consider your destiny. Before you collect that money, consider your destiny. Before you collect, you get, before you accept that job, consider your destiny. Before you accept that friend from the US who is disturbing you on social media, consider your destiny. Are you, are you, are you understanding me? Before desperate single women, before you accept that proposal, consider your destiny. Before you validate the speaking in tongues as a person is as, as salvation, consider your destiny. Listen, speaking in tongues does not mean the person is saved. Before you begin to validate people's salvation, I can't forget the lady I asked, is he saved? Yes, yes, he's saved. As if she's the one that gave Holy Ghost to mankind. Once the marriage alarm has been set on, you, you can even call the devil safe because he said Libra Shoko Bekayaba. I was watching the movie yesterday on Morning Cloud, the one I put around the, the Battle of the Mind. I was around to eight. I've watched it over and over. I can't get tired watching of that movie. I, I, I look at that point where the man was pushing the, the lady to come and sleep with her. And, and she said no. And the man then said, I want to satisfy your marriage, your marital desires. And she ended up sleeping with the lady. Do you remember the text message you sent to the lady? You see, I have risen over that text message over and over as if it was me it was sent to. I want to see. Why I'm risen over it because to see how I can help the ladies of our generation who have been deceived the same pattern. Look at what the... One, one part of his text message that make him look as if he's saved was, I promised God that I was going to marry a virgin. Can you imagine? Now, you made a promise to God and you are going to defy women. So a desperate woman would think, since he has made a promise to God, there are circumstances where predator men have met Christian ladies and, tell, and seduced them to the, to the sexual sin bed. When they got there, the men say, let's pray first. And the girl would tell you, because he said we should pray first, I thought it was God's will. The man will say, let's pray first that God will sanctify everything we are doing since we are going to get married. Consider your destiny. Don't be religious. Religion destroys. Consider your destiny. If you're a serious man, a Christian girl, consider your destiny. Don't allow religion to seduce you. Consider your destiny before you accept, you accept that proposal. Consider your destiny before you go on a journey with that young man or that young woman. Consider your destiny before anything carry you away. Because your destiny is more important than anything on the face of the earth. Because by the evening of your life, you will see how stupid you were. There are a lot of people I've met that the enemy use pleasure 
to take them out of their path here most of them we have prayed we have fasted we have done a lot they can't come out of here because once you divert to this place it's not prayer that will save you anybody who who move from their pathway that god have said to and get diverted to a pathway that is not theirs prayer does not save them i submit to you that many christians who go to prayer on mountains that is their problem they married who they ought not to and now the preaching of marriage they are trying to maintain marital standards on a marriage that have no valid foundation as a result they can't come out they just have to remain there to die how about those who just accept certain jobs some not even marriage just a relationship and the thing drop a child in your on your laps that child that was dropped was all of you you are found here for you to get back to track prayer cannot take you back to track is the cross that will take you back to Christ. and here is the mystery who knows the cross many don't know how many preachers can preach the cross until the cross is preached you won't know which cross to carry and get back on track it is not prayer that will help you to get back on track it's the cross it's the cross you must carry a cross and follow Jesus that is why don't even lose the track is someone hearing me don't even lose the track in this regard prevention prevention is better than cure don't lose the track at all don't allow anything to drop anything on your life that will take you out of the path that god has set for you consider your destiny before you accept the visa consider your destiny before you go on that trip consider your destiny before you enter into what you call open door because most open doors are closed doors in disguise consider your destiny before you give in to that pleasure to that man to that woman to that privilege consider your destiny before in fact consider your destiny before you give him to anger it's not just pleasure anger remember we spoke about anger consider your destiny before you give in to anger because you can be so furious that you ruin your destiny you do things that will destroy your destiny in fact consider your destiny before you answer to provocation consider your destiny before you make a decision to quit consider your destiny before you react to adversity that was the lesson we learned from job job considered his destiny when the adversity came the only option every believer has when the good god bring bad things is for them to abandon the good god that was the only door left for job that was why his, his wife told him curse god and die and the man considered his destiny and said should we accept only good from god without evil he said i know my redeemer live even when my flesh is destroyed even when i don't have the money back when i will not have even if i don't have my children back even if i don't have my health back if this body is destroyed my eyes will see him consider your destiny before you respond to adversity and listen consider your destiny before you respond to advice before you follow that advice that, that that person is giving you before you follow those cancers from unsatisfied counselors people that don't even know what god is doing with you are the one giving you cancer people that don't even know what god is doing with your life are the one giving you cancer they are your prayer partners people that even when jesus passed they won't know he has passed are the one praying for you what are they praying for People that cannot demystify the scriptures are the ones demystifying your dream. People who twist the Bible are the ones giving meaning to your dream. Go 
Consider your destiny before you seek for dream interpretation. Consider your destiny before you give in to anything. Consider your destiny. Consider your destiny. Look at Jesus got to a point that adversity pressed him so much. He said, Father, if it's your will, let this cup pass me. He now remembered his destiny. He now said, Not as I will. Not as I will. That means I'm willing to die this dead. Because the Bible says he saw the glories ahead and he endured the cross. A people who consider their destiny will endure things. They will endure things. I will give you seven things that will endure quickly. Seven of